So we are standing at the top of the ramp, which is not far. We haven't really come far at all. You can see that's the bottom. There's a three-way gate. Um, so this kind of is my main uh, outside yardy bit, if you want to call it that. Corrals, pens outside. Um, so another big door uh, here. Um, this is just a fillet of wood. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of um, triangular shape. So if there is anything running past it, they're not running into the flat face of this door, which is here, for example. They've got a sort of fillet, triangular fillet there. So there's no chance of them running into anything and injuring themselves. It's a fairly smooth sort of surface sort of passing as they pass by it. Um, so another big door here. This passage, if you're interested in dimensions, um, I tend to find sort of three meters for the sort of main part of the, sorry, 3.6 meters for the main part of the sort of boarded section, which is 12 foot. And then the rampy bit here is three meters. And let's say it kind of gets narrower and narrower because we're trying to exert more and more control and um, make the deer do what we want, if, if you like. Um, or them sort of have, have more control so they do um, do and go where we want. Um, so yeah, spring latches, nice and smooth. There's nothing, say, no, no projections, everything's smooth on the wall. So basically we're in my um, pen, uh, outside pens, if you like, and there's basically four sort of quadrants, if you like. Uh, and on the end of it is, is, um, is a door about approximately 2.2 metres wide. Um, so four pens in a sort of in a rectangle with, in the middle, um, sort of like a diamond with a door into each across it's min miniature pedestrian door which I also move the, door, the deer through so you can see this door here um, so now so that one's shut so you can kind of see that we are in that's the door we came through a second ago so we're standing in a pen and you can see we've got that's the door that we've just shut uh, and there's the little one in the corner which is the diamond which goes into the other pens and that's the big one in the other, the other pens. So you might wonder why I've got well mesh on the top halves of the door. Uh, I personally find in some situations that having the well mesh um, helps um, the deer relax. They can see each other when they're separated in multiple pens. They can see each other. They can also see you. So when you're coming up to the door, they know you're there. It's not like there's a big solid wooden door. You suddenly open it and they get frightened because all of a sudden you've appeared around the corner and they, you didn't talk to them or tell them that they were coming. So they've all of a sudden got a fright. Um, so actually it helps, you can just move very quietly and slowly through the handling system. They can see you coming, they can see their mates next door and they tend to relax a little bit. Um, so sometimes in certain places having this well mesh, just kind of half, half a panel, they can all see each other and they don't get quite so anxious. So we'll kind of walk around. Um, so this is the, the next quadrant. Um, and it will make more sense when I stand up above. So this door's open. And you can kind of see in terms of thinking about a deer, and we'll talk about more about deer sort of psychology, if you like, and the way they think. Um, you know, you can see with that door open, they, they've, with the way the light is and the shadows, that you can see that they've got, they feel like they've got somewhere to go. The way this, the shape of it is, they, they can see, you know, where they're going, um, and they've got somewhere to escape to, which they like. They like to be able to think that they've got somewhere to get away. And, and you can Right, so I'm standing on top of my gantry uh, outside, sort of just above the pens that we were in a second ago, um, just because it makes it much easier for you to understand this, the arrangement of the pens. It's very disorientating walking around the pens, let alone being shown around with a little mobile phone and sort of being spun around and probably made to feel a bit giddy and seasick. Um, so hopefully it will make more sense if I spin this round, you can kind of see um, a little bit more that way. So that's the ramp just in that section there, that's the door uh, there that we shut and it's, so the ramp goes down and then down there. So the deer come up here and they come into this pen, so that's the one pen and there's a door, that's the sort of, ooh, that's the door we shut just on the end of my finger about there and then they come around another pen same arrangement um, another door you can see that door is still open it's folded back flat so that's a very important aspect doors need to be able to fold flat back uh, against some things so they're not sticking out not protruding um, and it flows around so you can see it's literally four pens that are identical um, and you can see there's the kind of that's the sort of um, indoor into my handling system kind of there and it flows in the shed and that's basically where they um, come out the handling system and the same thing you see another pen um, they're all the same size given pretty much give or take um, and the diamond thing I was talking about I don't know if you can make it out so down below the staircase here um, there's a pen so these are all pedestrian doors uh, in, into each into the corners of the, the pen so it's basically four squares with the corners knocked off in the middle 
um, and it just helps. So here you can see this door's open, um, and it's just to say they're wide enough you can put deer through, and you can instead of having to send them all the way around um, the perimeter, you can just send them straight through the middle if you want to shed off a couple, or maybe you're separating calves or weaning from the hinds. You just park, chuck the calves through from one pen uh, somewhere, for example, um, across. So it just gives you options. Doors give you options. So there's the main force of perimeter doors, if you like, and then this middle to diamond. Um, so hopefully you've kind of, you can see that a little bit better. Um, yeah, those are the four doors. But it's literally just four rectangles. You'll, you'll notice that most of the corners where there isn't a door, so that corner um, over there, it's boarded off at an angle. Um, Obviously, you're probably well aware of the reasons for that. If you're not, but the corners are never good because animals tend to get stuck in them. They group up in there if it's a single animal, like a big stag. You stick his bottom in there with his head out in front of you, and uh, it's very difficult sometimes to get them to move out of corners. So the, 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 the actual corners are rounded off, if you like, with another sheet of ply, and that just allows them to be, um, it allows the, sort of the flow of deer to be much better, much smoother. And they, they follow the corners, they follow the walls round, and so it helps that sort of progression of the deer through the handling system in the way that you want. Right, so I've got back down from the gantry. Um, I'm in the one of the sort of pens outdoors still, um, but it's essentially the, the sort of the pen where the deer would come out of the um, handling system, which is that's the sort of the out passage. So they'd be coming out of the crush uh, and out this way, and they'd be hanging around in this pen before they all got released as a mob um, back down the ramp um, and back to their paddock. Um, so what I've done, instead of having to sort of hold all the animals in here before, um, before they can be released uh, as one group, um, before, because if there were animals waiting to go into the handling system in this pen, I couldn't send them back through the, the door and back down the ramp. Um, so I'd have to wait for the, handling system, the whole handling system to kind of clear one pen to then let these out and uh, release them. So what I've got in the corner of the out pen, if you like, another big door here. And I say this is probably really confusing for you all to try and work out the layout and the arrangement. Um, but it is relatively straightforward. It's literally just a square um, with a couple of an in bit and an out bit. So there's this little cut through passage. Um, so I say we'll spin it back around. So the deer come out of the um, shed there. They come out of here. They'll either hang around here or if I want to, I can set this door like this. And the deer can just do their own thing. Uh, and they go out of this door. And, well, a bit of a sun, uh, but um, there's the ramp. Uh, and I can set the gate, three-way gate at the bottom there. Uh, and I can set all the gates back to the paddock and they'll just do their own thing uh, and head back to their own paddock um, without having to sort of, say, um, hold them. Um, depends on the numbers. If I've got a lot of deer coming through, then sometimes it's easier just to set, the, um, set this door here and let them do their own thing. Uh, if it's only a few, then I might let them build up and you know, hold the back. Uh, and then so as the deer kind of move around the pens and go inside and come out, then I'll um, hold them out in pens outside and then release them as one big mob. Uh, but it just, like I said earlier, doors gives you options. You know, it gives you options in terms of being able to move deer where you want them and do what you like with them. Uh, but having this little, this little sort of out door um, back onto the ramp makes a big, big difference because I don't have to wait, like I said to you, I don't have to wait for them to come back out through that door and back down the ramp. Um, so it just saves a lot of time and make things, makes things much more efficient.